Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to Mask Monday. Today I am going to be doing some spot masking and I want to use this Sand and Sky Pink Australian Clay Mask. And I've had a sample of this in the past before and I really, really like it. It mops up the oils really, really good. And so, anyway, for those of you that don't know, or you're new to my channel, welcome. And uh, I have combination skin. And so that means that I have the best of both worlds. And so I use different types of products at different times according to my skin's specific needs. And so right now I have, um, it's this fall season and generally I have dry skin around the perimeter of my face for the most of the year. And much of the year, I have an oily T-zone, especially the nose and the chin area, which is where I'm going to apply the mask today. Because this mask right here is good for mopping up those oils and giving some control in the pores. And so I just, I don't want to get the forehead today because I don't feel the oil or see the pores on the forehead but I do want to get around my nose and this part of my chin and so anyway I'm just gonna put a thin layer I don't really need a thick layer of this and it only takes about 10 minutes maybe for it to dry and uh, I'm gonna avoid the under eye area and I'm gonna get around the sides of my nose really good This is where, I, when I wake up in the mornings, I, there's oil that pulls up around the sides of my nose. And I feel, you know, right here around my chin, some areas there. So, I wanted to do a little spot masking today and, you know, try to get that area under control. So, anyway, I probably could put on some eye masks or something, but... I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of keep it simple today. I do have a new product that I want to try. I received this, I think, in a recent Allure box. It's called the Glove Mask Remover. And I guess it works like the, um, similar to, you know, those, um, you know, makeup remover cloths. You just have to um, moisten it. Anyway, it's like a little glove, but it looks like a washcloth. I mean, it feels like a washcloth, a terry washcloth. Anyway, you just moisten it and then you just w press it in to the dry clay or mud. It's specifically made for clay or mud masks. And so I thought I would use that today and use it to remove my mask because, you know, for those of you that use clay masks or mud masks on a regular basis, you know they can stain your washcloths and so if you have a designated you know uh, cloth like this this little glove um, is specifically made for this purpose then you know you can save your washcloths and keep from ru ruining all your linens so let's do an unboxing I've got some uh, I'm First of all, let me say this. I'm officially on a low buy. And so that means that I have scaled back on my subscriptions. Uh, for BoxyCharm, I'm no longer doing the Boxy Lux or the Boxy Premium. I've scaled back to the bo base box alone. Um, the Allure box was up for a one-year renewal. And I scaled back on it to just getting that on a monthly basis. And so... Um, and with Ipsy right now, I'm paid up on my Ipsy Glam Bag through January and my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus until April. And so I'm just on hold with those things right now, so I'm still continuing to get those. Um, I'm still getting uh, the Look Fantastic that's, <clears throat> you know, month to month. And then I have the uh, Cheek Boss, which I shared with you last week, which is, you know, uh, uh, panties and leggings and you know they have bralettes and all kinds of things and then the American Influencer um, Awards box I, I did sign up for uh, three months of that 
and we'll probably renew it. It's a really good subscription. I really like it. So, anyway, but that's it. I'm not doing any add-ons. I'm not shopping any pop-up sales. I'm not doing any um, going on any other websites and, you know, shopping like I did this summer. I have a bunch of stuff that I did haul from this summer that I haven't even showed you yet. And as I get time while I'm on this low buy, I'm going to, you know, share those things with you bit by bit to help with some of my content and of course it takes time to get all those things organized and to work them into giveaways and what have you so <clears throat> speaking of giveaways let me just say this while i'm here i'm right at 750 mark i think i lack like two subscribers anyway share me out if you will once i hit 750 subscribers i'm going to hold a really nice giveaway there's going to be two winners. I'm going to set up two uh, of those priority mailboxes, you know, and fill them up with palettes and skincare and makeup. And, you know, it's going to be two really nice prizes. And then over on Instagram, I, I'm right at a thousand followers. I like 10, I think. So anyway, share me out on Instagram as well. It's at sisfantastic59. That information is down below in the description bar. Uh, in the description box and once I hit a thousand subscribers or followers over on Instagram I'm gonna hold a giveaway over there as well so with that being said let's get into um, let's let me do let's do my boxy charm I just got this like a day or so ago and uh, I was really hoping for that ace butte palette palette or at least one of the other palettes, you know, that they shared in the spoilers. And I was really disappointed in this box because I got a repeat. And uh, so anyhow, there's the card. There's an ad in the card where they're, you know, revamping their pop-up and add-on names, the, sa the sale names. They're, it's now going to be Drop Shop, which was formerly add-ons. And that's October the 11th. And then... The Mega Drop Shop is formerly the pop-up sale, which only happens four times a year. It's going to be on November 8th this year. And, uh, and then it probably won't happen again until, you know, after the new year. And then there's a yearly beauty, boxy beauty bash, which is going to be early November. It only comes once a year and it's going to be a holiday blowout sale. Where you can shop for exclusive products and brand favorites and special deals that are going to drop all month long so it looks like you know from october 11th and then all the way through november that you're going to have lots of opportunities to buy uh, gifts and you know things that you've been wanting that they're going to make available so <clears throat> with all that being said, let's get into my box and let's talk about the big disappointment. This is the big disappointment. And it, it's not a bad product. I mean, I, when I saw it um, before, you know, I had to have it and I bought it. And I already have it and they have a record of me having it. And so, Anyway, it's the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. It's a beautiful palette. You know, I loved the aesthetic of the palette. With the pink and the orange and, of course, the, the light peachy gold. And then the, the more of a tan shimmer. I'm not going to swatch these, but I do have two of these now. So... One of these is probably going to go in a giveaway. And it just really bugs me because I really didn't want two of these. You know, I'd rather have the $25 that I spent for the base box to go toward one of the other palettes that I didn't have. In particular, that Ace Butte palette. I just thought that was gorgeous. And even though I'm on a low buy, I may purchase that. Because of FOMO. <laughs> Anyway, I'm trying to control myself, but I will I will pat myself on the back for saying this, that when Ipsy had their 10-year anniversary mystery bag on sale, oh my gosh, y'all, I pulled it up, looked at it, drooled at it, lusted after it, coveted after it, 
and then told myself, no, Lori, you're on a low buy. And the other side of me was arguing, but this is a 10-year anniversary bag. This is the only opportunity that you're ever going to get to get this 10-year anniversary bag. And I was like, it's a $30 bag. It's probably got some products in it that I don't, that I already have, you know, other than the bag itself, you know, get over yourself, Lori. No. <laughs> and I told myself no. And so I'm proud of myself for doing that. So low buys are hard, y'all. I mean, even though you're getting your subscriptions coming in, there's other things that are coming out. They're rolling out brand new stuff. Glam Light's got some new stuff. Um, Nomad Cosmetics got some new stuff. I mean, there's new stuff that's out there. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills has new stuff. ColourPop has new stuff. There's other... I should do a video of all the things I'm not going to buy. But, I mean, come on. Who wants to see that? I'd rather see something that you did get. Alright, so, rant over. I'm complaining. Nobody wants to hear that. But there's stuff out there I want. And this, no buy, this low buy is is a challenge all right so the next thing i got in my box is the laura geller spackle <coughs> <coughs> excuse me skin perfecting primer it's a hydrating and moisturizing primer beautiful packaging two fluid ounces love 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 laura geller i've used her primers before in the past and absolutely love them all right, and then the next thing that I got in my box was from TYNT. It's the Brown Brow Gel Lash and Brow Duo. And that's how that's packaged. And I really don't understand this product because I haven't examined the component. It sounds like it might be duo-ended. And it is. So, there's the component. The brown end is for the there's the brow gel so this is where the product is in the end the middle component is what holds the brush and then this side is the mascara part and it's got one of those silicone looks like really tiny teeth so that brush right there is very interesting. I cannot wait to use that, even though I have over a dozen mascaras already open. I'm gonna have to use this. Anyway, I haven't really used hardly anything from TYNT. So this is gonna be fun to explore and, uh, and try it out. So it doesn't say anything about this product being waterproof. So that, that's something I want to find out. So I'm going to have to get on their website and, you know, check it out. Check out the ingredients and all that. So anyway, not mad at that. I mean, I always enjoy getting brow products. I like trying products from brands I've never tried before. Uh, but again, the whole box is tainted by the disappointment of getting you know that palette that I did not I did not want it I did not want it but anyway I wish they'd given us a choice of the palettes that we wanted I, I, I really wish that they would have done that give us you know put those three palettes up there the two from that gal I forgot her name anyway she's um, she did brushes and she did a couple of palettes that came with um, a set of lashes each and and it's really it's really kind of cute you know her products and they're, they're getting good reviews and I wouldn't have minded really even having any one of her products as well but as far as the palette was concerned I really wanted that Ace Butte palette so I still have my eye on that so but I have other shades you know from Ace Butte that I could put together for fall but anyway I'm just hurting I'm hurting because I wanted it all right, so the next things that I got was the Appeal Adhesive, uh, Adhesive Liquid Liner. Adhesive. Adhesive. Appeal Adhesive Liquid Liner. So it's an adhesive and a liquid liner all in one. So, you know, it's black and you just put it on and then use it with the lashes that I got. 
and these are from Kamara uh, Unique Beauty. Really pretty set of lashes. They look like Demi Wispies. Really uh, slender, slight little band. I like those kind of bands. And um, so anyway, excited more about the liner than I am the lashes. But you know, if you give liner adhesive liner, you it just stands to reason to give lashes to go with it. So anyway, the liner's twenty nine dollars. The lashes are twenty five dollars. I wouldn't pay that for them. Uh, the Tint Beauty Lash and Brow Duo is twenty nine dollars. The Spackle Perfecting um, primer is $32 and then the Beauty Bakery palette is $38 so a total of $153 is the value of my box you know the value is here but this is definitely not one of my favorite boxes okay this is dry y'all so I'm gonna uh, go in and moisten my little glove bring it out really good and then I'm gonna put it on my hand like it says to and I'm gonna just press the moisture into the mask to help help it come up and not damage the outward layer of my skin and then I'm just going to go in and just wipe it off. So this is a handy little thing. I'm, I'm, you know, I feel like a washcloth would probably serve the same purpose. I don't know because my washcloths get stained. So I'm kind of anxious to see how this is going to perform in, you know, the product washing out of it. If the product washes out of it and it performs like the makeup remover you know in that aspect then I am going to be very happy so anyway, I'm flipping it over now and I'm just using the clean side just to go back over and just get that clay up and then I'm just going to use a makeup wipe with um it's got jojoba oil in the remover and I'm just going to go over that and then I'm going to add a little serum and some hydrating products here so I'm going to go in with this firming milk serum from Bolero I'm trying to use these products up that I've got open here. I still have my, my project panning that I did not do a video on this last month because I was busy and to be frank with you all, I am bored. I am bored with my project panning. It is. I am not a panner. I have found that out this year. I am, I'm stink. I stink at panning. I mean, I get things done, but it's just, I like trying new products. I feel some grit still on my face, y'all. So I know I just put all that serum on, but I gotta get this grit off. All right, let's try that again. Anyway, what I desire is for my project painting projects, those products to politely bow out <laughs> for the rest of the year. But I'm, I'm not a quitter, honest, you know? It bugs me, so I'll probably keep on doing it. But I do have to admit to you guys that I am bored out of my mind with it. It is like, please. So, anyway, I'll just take a break for a month or so and, 
get back into it. I still feel grit. There might be grit in this hyaluronic acid. I don't know. I probably need to just go wash my face before I put all this stuff on. So I think that's what I'm going to do. This is a good mask. You gotta, it's, it's an exfoliating treatment, but it also mops up the oil. And, uh, you know, it's a good product for those with combination to oily skin. So anyway, sand and scowl, y'all. It's worth the price. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, I am not happy with the way my face feels. I feel like I need to go in there and wash it off with some soap and water and or some kind of cleanser and water and everything. And, you know, but anyway, and we'll see how that glove works. I'll wash it out and see if the product comes out of it. And I will let you guys know down in the description or uh, pin a comment or something. Anyway, all right, that's it for me today, you guys. Uh, happy Mask Monday. Let me know what you got in your boxy charm. And did any of you not get any of the palettes that they advertised and you got something like this instead? Let me know. So, anyway, hopefully, hopefully, Boxy Charm's not mad at me for canceling out on Boxy Lux and, you know, my premium and stuff. Hopefully, they're not. You know, sometimes I wonder, do they give people preferential treatment? If you if you order more, do they give you better products? You know, I've been with them for a long time. I've never experienced anything like this before. So, anyway, I've got the big question mark in my mind right now. So, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Hope y'all have a terrific day. Happy Mask Monday to all the Mask Monday ladies. Click on the hashtag and it'll take you... Uh, to the page where everyone's videos are listed use the filter and filter out all the videos except for the ones from this week and that way you can stay on top of the uh, ladies that you know have currently posted all right i love you all thank you again and god bless you today it's my prayer i'll see you next time bye